Okay, so this is uh, part three of the Samurai Helmet series. Um, what we're doing today is we're going to add some of the parts that are going to distinguish this basic helmet piece, the helmet cap, skull cap, whatever you want to call it, from you know a, a medieval design or a uh, you know a design from Persia or somewhere like that. This is going to distinguish this as a samurai and uh, these are some of the patterns that we have and and what we're going to be what we're going to be focusing on today are the back plates uh, that lace up on the back of the helmet here and go around and cover the back of the head we've got several different styles of mempos here and even uh, a simple medete that was made it was made from a scrap piece that looked kind of like this and then it was wet formed to be more like that so that's the kind of thing we're talking about you see some of the respective uh, these are the neck plate the, the uh, neck protector plates that go down the front of the uh, of the mempo here's your basic Angry Man Mimpo that uh, is very popular. It's just the uh, basic uh, thing like that. Mm. Uh, when I talk about a medete, it's it's a uh, it's a crest piece that uh, distinguishes your rank or your clan or whoever you're with in some way or another distinguishes you on the battlefield. Now, as I said, we're going to have the pieces that are going to come around. There goes the mempo, and they're going to fit on here like this, and then they're going to lace around, and it'll just go up and down on the back. Let me show you. Here's some of the other. We've got this kind of thing here. Uh, this is a tengu, based on the uh, bird creatures that taught the samurai their uh, martial arts skills. If you want to get a little uh, like postmodern cyberpunk samurai, you know, we're going to go with some chrome spikes and some, you know, yeah, you know, and, this, and we'll put spikes on, on this part of it too, of course, and other parts. But we'll decide later what we're going to do with that. Okay, uh, before we attach these other pieces and wet form them and everything, uh, we've got to do some things. We're going we're gonna to touch up the black dye. We're going to touch up our inside edges here with black dye. All right. I also um, need to make it so I can attach this piece with the size of rivets that I have. Um, and I can go about that one of two ways. I can either cut this piece off, which may or may not work out too well, uh, but what I like to do is just use my drill, a half inch drill bit, and drill down into the leather. And then when I, I set the, the rivet in there, it actually goes in an eighth inch more. So, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go around and I'm going to drill these down into there. That's a half inch bit, and that uh, that is I find that that gives me plenty of room for my rivet to go down into the hole. And so I'm just going to line up on that hole, and try not to mess up the other side of my helmet here with the uh, drill as I'm going down in, and just very lightly. You don't want to you don't want to put a lot of pressure on this. You just want the drill to kind of eat, eat a little bit of the leather away at a time. I'm not putting much pressure at all on there. There we go. This is a variable speed drill, and so I'm slowing it down a little bit when I see I'm getting a little bite there on it. Okay. So we're getting this rivet here. And we're going to put it through the hole. See how far out it comes. Yeah, I might be able to grab on with that. That sticks out much better now. So all we're all we're really doing here is we're just making a countersink hole in the uh, in the leather. There's still some leather left here on this piece, 
Uh, so it's going to attach that all in together. Uh, the reason why I'm not just cutting this piece off is because I don't like to take that much leather away from uh, the helmet. I like to leave the extra leather on for extra protection. Uh, when you're wearing a helmet, it's for protection. So I like to leave the extra leather on. So that's why I'm taking a drill. But if you don't have a drill, I would just cut this piece off or uh, not even uh, have that piece on there to start with depending on what your design is. So that's why we're doing this. Okay, we're just going to do this inside all the way around and that's uh, so it's pretty much black. All You can sometimes depending on the angle of the helmet you can see that you know it's not black under there so we just it's just for continuity okay so we're just gonna we're gonna put a coat of super sheen on there it's a protective coating and we just start putting it on liberally let it get down into those cracks seal it up I'm actually going to put super sheen inside here and this is gonna actually harden the leather a little bit more from the inside out so you can see I'm putting on more than one coat of this stuff if you don't it's gonna be a little bit glossy and I like that if you don't want it too glossy don't don't put on too many coats okay so I've got the uh, leather pieces cut and I've got them scored uh, so I know where my edge is and that'll help me when I'm punching my holes later on uh, but you'll notice uh, these pieces I cut them so they they fit together and you know flared down at the same angle but the longest one I've got I didn't make it quite as long because I didn't want as much as much flap on our front piece you'll see what I'm talking about when we get to that uh, this piece is actually going to be moved to the top and that's going to be uh, the piece that attaches to the helmet cap. So this is actually our top piece. And that will all fit together. These will come fit together on top of that on the helmet after they're all formed. Line it up on one, one edge or the other. And we're just going to mark our holes. And you'll note that these holes follow the curve and actually will flare out that way on down. Okay, there's that one. Next. This is the second piece that actually laces on to the top piece that will be connected to the helmet cap. So you'll notice uh, this, this piece has uh, rows of six holes. The top piece only had rows uh, two holes. And uh, you'll see that this one only has, the, the bottom piece only has four holes. And that's because of the way we lace it up. Okay, so we're going to use our maxi punch, our big one, and I think this is like the second to the smallest size for the, for the maxi punch, uh, and I like that because it's got, it's got a bigger grip on it too. It's a little bit fatter and bigger, so it's uh, easier to hold on to when you're slamming these holes through here. Um, yeah, you'll see I, I tried to line up on my pattern the holes with the, uh, with the uh, scribed line. But, you know, they're not perfect, so I'll have to adjust those a little bit. Uh, the six, yeah, it did a little better. It's a little closer. Okay. All right, I've got the holes punched on my first piece here. Uh, that's going to go, that's going to actually attach to the helmet piece. Like so. Um, with these, these holes that I've punched in the top. When you're pounding these big holes with, with the big... Uh, uh, hole punch. I like to have a, a little block of beeswax handy that I just rub on the end there and you got to do that about every four or five hits and it'll help that 
uh, lubricate through this thicker leather. Okay, I'm back. I've got this wet. Uh, I've also taken my tape measure and I've measured from this side to that side. It was almost 12 inches even, so I marked my spot here at 6 inches in the center. And that's where I'm going to try and line up my center hole. We're going to line it up on there. And we're going to make a mark. And we're just going to push that hole. Okay, I've got this uh, center rivet. It's not set. I've just got it in place there. Notice I've got my little clamps again over here. And so we're just going to come in here and we're going to mark our holes again on this side. You can take that off, take that off, and pop that out of there. And let's punch some holes. Get the pieces back in place here. With some rivets in them. Rivet cap on there. And we're just going to take our roll and mark the holes. Okay. Alright, so I've got, uh, I went ahead and I riveted these pieces on. I set my rivets here. Okay, so we've got all our rivets in. Um, we're going to just come in with our buffing tool and buff these edges down while uh, it's still wet. There's a little bit of wrinkling where we set the rivets, but it's not going to look too bad. I don't know if you can all see that. Let's turn that around so you can. You can see where some of them got, you know, where we smashed the rivets in. There's a little bit of wrinkling. You can't help that too much. But you come back with your tool here and straighten it out. Now, I'm also going to form these out. I'm just going to kind of fold them back because that's the way we want them to make it look more samurai. And if you'll notice on all these pieces, I've got both sides uh, dyed black. That's uh, because those will be showing on the outside. Now, I'm going to make this all nice and round here. Just gonna form it with my fingers and thumbs. And we're gonna flare that out a little bit there. And that looks good. Let's buff that edge. Alright, now that's that's the beginning part of our samurai helmet. We've got the we've got the main main piece attached to the helmet that's going to make this look more samurai. Okay, uh, I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to put some super sheen on it. I'm going to punch these punch the holes in these pieces and wet form them. And uh, next time I'm going to show you how we lace those up, and we'll uh, discuss making mempos, and we may even. We may even go into making the mempo and uh, have those pieces going on. All right, I just want to say thanks to all the new subscribers, all the people that left comments, feedback, questions. I'll get to I'll get to the videos that uh, pertain to the questions that all of you asked about. Uh, right now, I'm trying to finish up this samurai helmet series. Uh, it's it's a kind of an involved process, so it's it, I have to break it up into a number of different videos, so we won't have just one long big video. So till next time, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button. If uh, you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see more, I'll have more coming very soon. Thanks very much.